The temperatures were in negative territory, as you well know. Now, a much different story. Yeah, thanks to the warm weather, frozen lakes are in a thaw-out period, and that almost turned tragic for some people in the Poconos over the weekend. WFMZ's Bo Colt now is at Leaser Lake in Lehigh County with some ice safety tips. Robin Winnie, despite the warm weather today, Leaser Lake behind me is still frozen. In this type of year, this really is a mecca for ice fishermen. But there is no official ice thickness, thickness checking system. So it's really enter at your own peril. And that almost turned deadly for several people in the Poconos this weekend. They might have. Uh, 8 or 12 inches of ice in one section and then 50 yards away is open water. So, you know, conditions are super, super variable. This time of year, Pike County's Lake Wallen Paul Pack is an 8 square mile frozen playground. However, over the weekend, tragedy almost broke through this winter wonderland. Sunday, the Taft and Dive and Rescue Team pulled five people out of the lake after they fell through thin ice. And dive team member Nick Spinelli stood on solid ice with me as he explained some of those victims were on ATVs and snowmobiles while others were ice fishing. The thing with ice is that, you know, there's no way to say ice is safe. And overhead, you can see vehicle tracks across the lake. Spinelli says a clear solid three inches of ice can hold a cross-country skier. Five inches, a snowmobile. Eight inches, a car. Eleven inches, a truck. But thickness varies at different points. And here and at lakes in and around the Lehigh Valley, there is no official ice checking system. A lot of folks will take a, a, a spud bar, a metal bar that's got a sharp tip on it. And if you walk along and, and chip at the ice, if it's thin, you'll, you'll break through with that spud bar. And again, and, and again, those five people were rescued safely. Spinelli says when walking on ice, walk next to each other, wear some type of life vest, and have some type of thing with you that you can use to rescue somebody if they do fall through. And if they do fall through the ice, you can call or you should call 911. For more information on ice safety, you can head to the Fish and Boat Commission's website. Live here in Lehigh County, Boat Colt now, 69 News.